Welcome in Sardinia. My name is Maurizio Anzillotti. I'm the chief editor of SVN Network. SVN Network is the main selling media network in Italy. We are at half an hour of navigation from Marina Cala de Sardi. Marina Cala de Sardi is our base where we came to shoot the most of our video. But today we are not here for this. We are here because Marina Cala de Sardi is one of the two boat test centers run by NSS. NSS is the company that up to a few months ago was called North Sardinia Sail and is the main charter company in Italy, but also the second dealer for Lagoon in the world. I was telling you that we are here to test the Lagoon, the Lagoon 42 this boat. To help me to test this boat will be a friend of mine, Leo Ranzoni, that is another journalist of SVN. But before to go to see the boat and speak with Leo, let me introduce you Serena Scarinci. Serena Scarinci is the sale manager of NSS. I want to ask her a couple of questions about the interesting way to buy this boat, the management program. Hi Serena. Hello Maurizio. Serena, can you tell us something about the management program of NSS? Yes Maurizio, our investment program is a management program for sailors that allow them to buy a boat and save a lot of money, more than the 50% of the total amount they will spend in case of an exclusive use. It works in this way, the owner will buy the boat and leave the boat in our charter fleet, we will charter it and in change we give him a revenue and we also cover all the maintenance and mooring fee. So if I understood well, if I want to buy this boat, I can pay it half of the price, don't pay any expenses, and came here in this wonderful place to sail. All the expenses, maintenance and mooring fee are on us. Just the insurance cost is on the boat owner. Thank you very much, Serena. You're welcome. And now let's go to meet Leo Ranzoni. <laughs> Welcome on board of the new 42 Lagoon Catamaran. This year uh, the boat has been uh, designed totally for the engineering part by the VPLP Design Studios, while the interior and the style has been made by the Nauta Studio and appears uh, really uh, impressive all the features that are on this new model. The first thing that is very evident is that the mast has been moved aft, leaving this uh, large four triangle wider to obtain uh, the maximum space for the downwind sails and reducing the pitching of the boat in uh, tricky conditions. What appears evident in Lagoon is that uh, we still use nets for the bow line, for the bow area. Why nets? Because nets are an advantage in rough uh, conditions. Uh, just try to imagine which can be the impact if this area was a hard area beside the hulls. While on the net, uh, all the wind and the water gets flowing freely without any uh, sort of hard impact during the swells. At my back, I have this stylish glazing that uh, are the sign of the, of the lagoon uh, fleet. Under this large hat, I have a, a large dinette, but under my feet, I can find really um, interesting uh, new way to lay down at the sea uh, because I have backrest under my cushions for my relaxing moment in front of the sun. The side decks are quite wide and easy to walk through, even if the stanchions appear to be a little bit short and the lifeline appears far from hands. After two steps, the first thing that I found is a large window on the right side of the boat, even on the left side, that uh, gives enormous light inside the aft cabin. Now here I have a, a traditional L-shaped uh, seat in front of a large table that can accommodate more or less six to eight people. Here this is a new position. It's a very smart uh, seat beside the sea. Here there's another one with a locker down there. Very uh, useful. And the second uh, locker is down this seat. 
here I found uh, another seat again. And down this seat there is an interesting uh, position for the life raft because it's very close to the water line. So in case of emergency, it's very easy to launch and save your life. A few steps more, I found the engine compartment with a large locker area and a large space to walk through. After that, I have two ways to get on the Huntsman position. One is the traditional stair and the other one is in the cockpit here. The home station is very well uh, positioned. My feeling is that everything is under control because this Huntsman's position is not that high above the waterline, but it's very close to everything that you need. For navigation, engine throttles command, two winch, one is a power winch, and all the jam for the halliers. Here there is a, a soft pocket to clean this area during maneuvers, sailing, and uh, a few steps more, and I am on the top of the roof. Here on the top, I have an area, still an area for my guests on my right. I have a nice sofa for uh, my guests with a backrest at the end. It's a very pleasant view from here. While the skipper that needs to work on the sails still have another step uh, to be easy uh, on the top of the main sail here. But be careful because here I don't find any sort of anti-skid. So pay attention. Closing the roof, I have two large crystal windows to take my sails under control. And here, after three steps, I'm directly in the large cockpit, ready to introduce my giant saloon. Here I have a traditional L-shaped dinette with unconventional shape for the table and it has been studied to create a very nice passage uh, when I'm seated and when I have to stand up and move away. On the right side I have still large navigation table with everything I need in front of my eyes. Then still on the right there is a large, large, very roomy galley with three stoves and a, a giant microwave oven in front of me. Maybe the sink is a little bit small but there is everything you need around you. On the other side, to my left side, I have two fridges. One has a horizontal hatch and the other one is the traditional fridge. This Lagoon 42 that we are introducing to you, testing and reviewing in the SBN channel on YouTube, has been uh, bought by NSS Charter Company and is the classic charter layout, four cabins and four heads. Uh, but we still have a space for um, the crew at the bow of the single hulls in front of the double cabin, four cabins. Starting from the dinette, a few steps. Going down below, I found the large island bed of the VIP cabin. Here I'm surrounded by light because I have one, two, three, four, five windows really in front of the sea, so it's uh, the feeling of being um, surrounded by water. Here I have the door of the head that has a separate shower in it, and it's very roomy as well. Walking through the fore part, I have the second double cabin. It's a semi-island bed, and it's very roomy as well because there is an enormous a window on the side and is very roomy even because I can open the hatches. There is another traditional head with everything you need in front of you for your care. But now is no time to think about fresh water and sleeping time because it's time to go sailing. We are finally at the helm station of this Lagoon 42. It's a very nice pleasure to be here because in these spots in northern Sardinia, in Marina Cala di Sardi, we always find the right wind to test our fleet. We have 14 knots, maybe sometimes it's 15 or hopefully 16, and we are about at 6.5 knots. It's a beam reach 
and the beam of this boat is 7.7 .7 meters wide while the length is 12.8 meters. We have 90 square meters of sail area and I have a self-tucking jib and a traditional full button mainsail. It's so very easy, in front of me you can find everything I need to move this large boat. Everything is under my control, as you can see, just by reaching with one hand the winch. And I have a power winch here and a traditional manual winch there. It's a 46 diameter and everything is always under control and under my eyes. The total weight is 12 uh, tons, more or less, maybe kilos more, kilos left. But uh, it's very easy on the helm. I don't have any pressure, uh, it's well balanced. I don't feel any sort of pitch and roll. So I think that VPLP has made a nice work moving backward the mast and thanks even to this new uh, sail balance this catamaran is very easy even for beginners really now the chain plates has been moved aft and all the rig seems to be very well balanced through these large windows it's very easy to check all you need when you are sailing and i find it very useful now we have some small gusts we are about at 16 16 knots now and we're hitting 7, 7.1, 7.2 and it's time to have my tuck, ready to tuck! Okay, despite this weight of 12 tons, the boat turns very easily. As you see, I'm now reaching 4.5, 5, yeah, 4.2, 5.5, so very quick to find again a nice speed. And what a pleasure today to see this boat sailing at 6.5 to 6.8 knots in this mid-October season day. Today we don't have the sun, unfortunately today we just have a cloudy day, but here in Sardinia, even in mid-October, you can find a very pleasant day to sail. I just was thinking about the sun and the boat is taking his part. We can have really pleasant day. I hope you will find some sun in the next videos that we offer to you on SBN channel on YouTube. Ready to tuck? Okay. Let's tuck, guys.